Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel where we discuss everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in India guys. Before I begin with today's important news, do hit the subscribe button if you want to stay updated about everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in India guys. I come here regularly and make videos about electric cars, electric bikes, electric scooters, electric rickshaws, electric buses, electric vehicle charging stations. So please hit the subscribe button guys. I will start with today's uh, news with a startup which is Detail. They have come out with a new electric bike. The name of the bike is Detail Easy Plus. Um, they already had a bike in the market, Detail Easy. Now they have come come out with Detail Easy Plus. You can see the design is pretty simple, basic, and I think it's targeted at the you know the commercial uh, version of uh, two wheelers. That is the fleet owners, the last mile delivery guys, last mile connectivity. And that commercial segment, I think, is being targeted because, again, as you can see from the design, aesthetically, it is uh, simple, but definitely it's not aesthetically, uh, you know, uh, designed to be as pleasing as you, as you might see in other bikes. I will take you to the specifications of that. For that, I will share my screen, guys. I'll take you to the website of uh, Detail Company. Okay, now you can see the screen. And let me just remove the video all right so guys uh, this is uh, you know if you want to check out the bike you can go to detailindia.com and there you can see that this bike is listed it's right now showing price to be zero because probably it is not available right now here you can see the message notify me when in stock so it is not right now available through e-commerce but very soon it should be and if you see the specification guys uh, here it is written range is 60 km per charge that is the range guys and if you talk about speed rated 25 km per hour which means that you will not probably need a license or registration for this because speed is less than 25 km per hour and battery capacity is 20 ampere hour battery guys so this is the specification that the tires are tubeless 16 inch into 2.5 inch load capacity is 150 kg and the company is providing a battery warranty of three years and body is metal alloy and powder coated so this is the technical specification of uh, this particular uh, bike if you are interested go and check out it uh, check it out on their website uh, you know so daily I discuss that a lot of two-wheeler companies are coming in and pitching their models, releasing new models, a newer version of existing models. And uh, what I see is that uh, where we have traditional uh, bike and scooter uh, segment coming in, but I also see that the simpler uh, models, which are kind of lie between an electric bicycle and electric bike are also coming in. And I'm pretty sure that the uh, if the price is right, uh, you know, the delivery people uh, will prefer this kind of vehicle, uh, especially the delivery people who go on repeated routes, like uh, your milk, uh, your milkman. He knows that he has to go through a one particular route in the morning. So he might go for this bike because operating cost is low and the price is also low. Price is not released for this one. But if you remember day before yesterday, I covered another bike from the company, uh, you know, Pi Beam. And that, that was a IIT Madras incubated startup. And the price they claimed was 30,000. And I said that is it was one of the cheapest bikes I have come across. Definitely specifications were a bit lower than Hero Electric Optima, but it was a very competitive price. And that's what I expect from this uh, particular bike detail. Uh, the prices are not yet out, but I think it will be also very competitively priced given the design guys so uh, you know do check it out on their website in case you are interested to know about further specification and i will post a link of the website in my description box you can click on that as well moving on to the next news guys that is from mgzs ev guys mgzs ev i recently covered they had rolled out their sales number in 2020 that was 1300 Pretty good impressive number, not as good as Tata Nexon EV, but good number given the Corona lockdown period from March to, you know, June or July 2020. The number was good, but now in one of the interviews, one of the executives of MG Motor has revealed that they might be planning to launch a car which has a 500 kilometer range now whether this car will be an additional uh, upgrade of mg zsv or a new car entirely is something they have not uh, uh, revealed also they hinted at a sub 20 lakh car uh, in this interview because they now actually have realized that 
Tata Nexon is doing pretty good. The one reason Tata Nexon is pretty good is because the price is 16, uh, 16 to 17 lakhs. It is below 20 lakhs. It's cheaper than MG ZS EV. It is cheaper than Hyundai Kona EV. It is not, it does not give as high range as these particular cars, but definitely cheaper. And that's why Tata Nexon is uh, doing good. And probably which is forcing these companies also to think to launch a new model. They have claimed that they will be launching a new car, uh, which will be priced less than 20 lakhs. And it will arrive in 2023 guys. Um, that is about MG ZS EV. The current MG ZS EV comes with a, a 40 unit battery and it the range is 400 to 450 kilometers. It's uh, under standard testing conditions. The new car that's going to come, we will have to wait and see what are the exact specification? What is the exact price? Is it an upgraded version of MG ZS EV or is it a new car entirely? So that is one news from MG ZS EV. Moving on to the next news guys, it is from Calicut MG ZS EV. Uh, MG company has again installed another charging station in Calicut and that is in with partnership with Tata Motors. If you remember, I have already told that Tata Motors and MG ZS EV in partnership are installing 200 charging station across India. Most of these are outside MG ZS EV showrooms, but they have been installed. I have covered this. The first one I covered was on Mumbai Pune Highway. Then I covered one in Coimbatore and now it is it has come to Calicut and more will be coming. More are on their way. And, uh, you know, uh, so that's what I said. The Tata Power and MG ZS in collaboration are launching this so mg ZS EV has a has a very intense approach when it comes to charging they are assuring their drivers that we will make sure that you have a charging station available with the car they sell one charging station once they have sold that charging station with the car then they also provide these fast charging station in their city where the customers can go and charge their cars within 50 minutes guys within 50 minutes if you uh, plug your uh, mgz's ev into a 50 kilowatt super fast charger it will be charged within 50 minutes 0 to 80 percent because 80 percent to 100 percent takes a longer time so that is uh, about MGZCV. They have already installed in 17 different cities. And in a way, I believe that Tata Power is doing it. It might help Tata Nexon also if Tata Power and Tata Motors come into uh, because obviously both the companies belong to Tata guys. Uh, so good, good for people of Calicut. Congratulations, Calicut people. If you're listening to this, uh, you know, thumbs up, go test it out, go visit the charging station and, you know, let me know in comments how did you feel about that charging station was, uh, you know, give me a feedback on that. Uh, moving on to the next news, guys, that is from Goa. So the Goa's uh, Minister of Environment and New Renewable Energy, Mr. Nilesh Cabral, has announced that uh, they will be coming out with uh, new electric vehicle incentives and policies. They are hinting at a, a buyback scheme where you can sell your old petrol vehicle and buy a EV vehicle at subsidized price. That's one. They are also hinting towards a registration fees waiver they will waive the registration fees which will make the electric vehicle cost cheaper by five percent so that is one of the moves that goa government is also planning it is good that it's coming similar moves we have seen in daily government policy where you have a subsidy of uh, five thousand per unit of battery for two wheelers and uh, fifteen thousand per unit uh, of battery for uh, four wheelers. So that is there for Delhi. Now we are seeing this in other states as well. It is very important for Goa guys because we know Goa is one of our favorite tourist destination. We want it to be clean. We want it to be hygienic. And if there are electric vehicles running, it will be amazing. Imagining, imagine just, you know, you are going to uh, Baga Beach or you're going to some other beach on an electric uh, bike or electric scooter. Won't that be amazing? No sound, no noise, just peaceful uh, weather of Goa and uh, so a good move by Goa government we'll have to see uh, you know uh, we'll have to wait for further uh, exact specific uh, exact uh, details of the policy once it is released I'll cover that as well so that is it for today guys I hope you like the video do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated about everything that is happening in electric vehicle ecosystem in India so uh, that's it uh, see you in the next video till then goodbye